So I've been watching Comedy Central's The Daily Show for many years. In fact, I'm a big, loyal, and long t uh, long-time fan since high school. Jon Stewart, the show's host, stepped down in 2015, and he was replaced with a really funny guy named Trevor Noah, a South African comedian. He's super funny, in fact. His humor connects with the global audience. Trevor's humor has a lightness and optimism that is so refreshing to watch. He uses his outside, South African perspective, to his advantage. He's actually very kind, and he's very good at making fun of himself and the rest of the world. In my opinion, Trevor Noah's comedy is so universal that it has a power to exceed political borders. Just do me a favor and go on YouTube and watch a few clips of Trevor Noah. You won't be disappointed. I just finished his memoir, Born a Crime, amazing book, born to a black South African mother and a white Swiss father in an apartheid South Africa. Trevor entered the world as a biracial child in a country where mixed races relationships was forbidden. So he was not just a misfit, he was also, as the title of the book suggests, born a crime. You know, in South Africa at that time, race categories were so arbitrary and yet so prominent. And Trevor never had a group to call his own. As a little boy living in apartheid laws, he couldn't even be seen in public with his own white father or his own black mother. He explains in the book how his father would walk far ahead of him to ensure uh, they wouldn't think uh, that he has a biracial son. Many times even his own mother posed as a maid to make it look like she was just babysitting another family's child. There were many problems with Trevor's growing up like the one in the schoolyard and so many others where he was a misfit. Magically, during Trevor's childhood, he quickly finds out that there is a freedom that comes with being a misfit. A person who speaks English, Afrikaners, Zulu, Tosonga, Taswana, not to mention German and Spanish. Trevor used his talent for language to bounce from one group to another, win their hearts, and in some stressful situation, even uh, avoid being mugged by locals. In fact, Noah tells the story of how he discovered that language was stronger than the color of his skin, building connections with other people during his childhood in South Africa. He writes, my color didn't change, but I could change your perception of my color. I spoke, if you spoke to me in Zulu, I replied to you in Zulu. If you talk to me in Taswana, I reply to you in Taswana. Maybe I didn't look like you, but if I spoke to you, I was you. Trevor is a super funny comedian, but his story growing up in South Africa is truly, truly tragic. The father moved away, the family was desperately poor, he was arrested, and the list goes on and on and on. In fact, his mother was shot by his own stepfather, in Noah's hands. These moving stories are told in a way that will leave you often uh, uh, laughing. Trevor got his comedy skills from his mother. Even after his mom was shot in the face and somehow survived, she tells Trevor from her hospital bed to look at the bright side. Now you are officially the best looking person in the family, she jokes. Trevor writes, if my mother had one goal, it was to free my mind. In fact, the real hero of Trevor Noah's book is her mother. She is truly an extraordinary person. In fact, her greatest gift was to give Trevor the ability to think for himself and see the world from his perspective. I recommend reading this fascinating book, Born a Crime. I very much enjoyed it and I really hope you enjoy reading it too.